Sunday. Oh, we're live. I'm so sorry. We're live, by the way. <laughs> Yeah. Good morning, TikTok. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mga basura dun sa likod. Wala naman siguro. <laughs> Walang basura? Medyas na nakasampay dun sa likod, di ba? Okay na yan. Basta walang ano, um, uh, medyas. Okay lang. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. But it would be scary though if my dad walks in without any pants on. That, yeah. It's not... I mean, he doesn't really do that, does he? <laughs> It, it can Although, happen. Although, it might not be a bad thing for <laughs> You know, my dad, he's got like, you know, his li- pants are literally falling off. I mean, yeah. you know, with, like with all our love and respect to him, his pants are already literally falling off. Is it too and big? Then thin was, no, they're. One time, nagugas. Sobrang luma na. Yeah. Tapos, oh. ito, nag-offer si Tin. Sabi niya, ito na nga, nagugas nga siya. Nalalaglag na dun sa, mm. sa, while he's washing his hands uh, mm. on the, on the dinner, See. on the dining table on the sink and the d- dining table is right beside so we're eating he's mm. washing his hands and his pants right. are falling off mm. ito naman si Tin offered na uy ano, ano sabi mo lagyan ng garter lagyan ng garter daw <laughs> oh. my dad says no 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 pwede pa pwede pa tong sipit sipit <laughs> ang ginagamit <laughs> ng dad ko para hindi malaglag yung pants ayaw kasing you, ano, the, ano, the, the clip yung, that they use for the laundry yes yeah actually ginawa ko na yung pants na yun butas butas yun eh before oh, yeah. nakikita ko yung alam mo na. Tapos pag inayos mo, magagalit sa'yo. No. If, if you fix it, he's gonna get upset at you for... for... Uh, there's sentimental na... reasons eh. No, no. Nga. He's happy naman. Pag pina... Basta pag gusto niyang ipaayos, papaayos niya. Kung gusto niya. niyang ipaayos. Pero oh. pag ayaw niya ipaayos at wala ayusin mo, wala sa mood. Oh. Ay, nako. Maraming arte. So, well, yun. before we get going here, I just want to say today, the 14th of April, happy, happy birthday. 15th birthday to my lovely beautiful stepdaughter Malaya. Hey, Hi, happy birthday. Happy birthday Malaya. Hope uh, yesterday we spent the day in Washington DC. Basically we did what she wanted to do. She wanted to wander around, go to see the, the cherry blossom parade, also oh, nice. go to a museum. Um we hung out in DC and she she, she had her boyfriend along. Um, and then we had dinner as a family, and it was great. Today is her actual birthday. I just wanted to say happy birthday. I love you. Um, you are growing up to be an amazing kid, a beautiful woman, um, and hopefully you have uh, a good birthday and more birthdays to come. Happy birthday. For us here, it kind of feels like a birthday also because today will be the last day. Today is, what's the date today? 14th. Kasasabi ko lang ng 14th eh. Uh, 14. Uh, I get confused because wait, okay. 14 today, 15 tomorrow. Oh my gosh, right. Monday taxes. Uh, April 15 tomorrow. Today then would be the last day that those e-bikes <clears throat> that I was complaining and talk to, talking to I you saw. about are going to be allowed to be on the road today, which is, I should be excited about it, but there's a part of me that also empathizes and kind of wishes that it, they weren't totally banned. But we'll talk about that later. That but only show, means that tomorrow is going to be a day of full of awai. <laughs> yeah. The world's virtual Boy. assistant, the Philippines. That's what we're going to be titling yeah. and talking about today. Yeah. yeah it, it, uh, that begs the question that I have uh, because, and there's a couple of things, basically, um, if you go down the list. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, virtual assistant, and the question that pops up pops up to my head after watching my favorite show, one of my favorite show, are Filipinos too proud? Mm-hmm. You know, because there's an explanation or a statement that was stated in that show that I'm going to share, and I want to ask about that. Anyway, all that today, join us live on TikTok, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I this? will. Are you gonna do the intro? I also got an update yeah. on my iMac. Oh, oh, this is a sad day. Yeah. Well, play the intro and you'll find out. <laughs> I got zero two guys from two sides of the world, the flip side with Jay and Noel. You can catch us live online on YouTube and Facebook Monday, Wednesdays, and Sundays. And now, your host, Jay and Noel. It's amazing how I'm getting used to all the time uh, for the intro and some breaks or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's like I know that, oh, I, I have 20 seconds before the intro mm-hmm. stops. 
Right. <laughs> anyway, welcome, 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 welcome. Episode 141 today over here, 141, the lips, the flip, the lip side, the flip side with Jay Noah. I remember back in the days when we were on the radio, if right. I needed to pee, I had this like one or two songs that I had to use if I needed right. to go to the toilet. Uh, like, why did you play that song? Was it requested? Was it something that somebody wanted to hear? No, I needed to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the extended version of, uh, I think her name's Jeremy Jordan or something like that. Uh, happiness. Happiness. No Alexis, idea, okay. Alexis Jordan. Yeah, the, so there's an extended there. version of that that's like six, six, six and a half minutes long. Jeez, so always, <laughs> you can actually go number two. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that too. So, <laughs> right. Uh, also, quick comment before we talk about the iMac and everything else. This cup, I know we mm. have the official uh, standardized um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. flip side with Jay Noel cup. Got it's a broken logo already. Everything. It's just too small for my coffee. I wanted something big. <laughs> oh my god! I'm out of <laughs> Less caffeine. I, I only have to like you know pour the coffee once with that tiny cup. It's like I have to keep. Like, yeah. Pouring <laughs> coffee. So shell. So, so shell. It's probably going to be a pencil holder or a ball pen fastener or something well, like that. Oh yeah, come no, on, no, man! No, oh, no, that's no, just no. horrible. The cup and then the to bring coffee. the coffee maker oh, here. Oh my god! Sikip sikip na natin dito. <laughs> I know. The t-shirt ko magpapagawa ko ng isa pero merong QR code sa likod. So habang naglalakad ako, people can scan. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> or while you're falling in line in a theme park for three exactly. hours. Exactly. exactly. Wait, ano, ano, ano yung binabalak natin? Sana? Pillow ba? Pillow rin. Oh, gonna, like I'll, put, I'll print out your face and then be like... <laughs> okay. Oh. That's a little scary. But... <laughs> well, no, I'll print out both our faces and I'll put my face on my face. <laughs> it it's so it's so funny you said that. So last night I sent you guys a picture of me, um, oh. with like the bedazzled or whatever by my daughter, right? Wait yes, lang, yes. Wait long, but for uh, special uh, audience members, we'll give them the whole uh, full body length pillow. <laughs> To be able to <laughs> oh, that. embrace and put your legs on top. <laughs> <laughs> now, so last it's so funny you said that because last night um mm -hmm. I was just hanging out on the couch and whatnot with my daughter, and then she starts bedazzling my face. Mm -hmm. you know, because she, she had this on her face, okay. First mm -hmm. of all, it was her. That was, mm. you know, she had that all day long. Mm. Okay. That's and then cool. she got bored of it and transferred it to my face. And then she goes, are you going to send this to your boyfriend? <laughs> oh. oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Meaning, I'm like, boyfriend? What? No, well. <laughs> he is your friend, though, right? <laughs> so, anyway. Oh I mean, I can't. <laughs> I know I can't make this up, you know, delicado, delicado, uh, delicado. Bro, how about we just start our like separate podcast, like uh, the flip side with Jay, and then the flip side with Noel, and then we'll just like join guest each other on the same Tapos, podcast. Ita title, ita title so, so ko yung sa akin. Don't identify us together. Ang, ang know, title we'll ng show ko. As... Putang ina sinong bakla. <laughs> We still identify as separate and not together. If that makes any sense. <laughs> right, right. So, um, listen, you got this picture queued up with your dinner. Was it dinner or lunch? Uh, that was breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Tonight, oh, my God. Dinner, which was actually for breakfast, which we woke up really late and ended up having it for dinner kind of thing. Ah, I don't my know why God. I put that up there. Oh Share no, it. I wanted to go go through the rundown of my of, of these pictures. But but speaking of uh in a papayan, ano ba to? Galunggung? No, the, uh, there you go. That's what that is. I've been trying to like remember what it's called, but I like that better than tin than tinapa. Yeah. In other words, GG. Mm. Anong GG? Yun, galunggong. Gigi, oh, isang ikukod pang mahirap na. <laughs> Gigi. Diba? Okay. So, 
the, so okay. that's by Goong on the yellow container, right? Yes. And then yes. what is that for? Breakfast, okay. No, no, no. Oh, what, why, what are you eating the bagoong for? With? On the upper left, beside oh. the spam or the mystery meat on top of the egg. Oh. Talong egg. Talong. So, so talong, talong with bagoong? But yes. the real reason is we have an overshoot of uh, mangoes here. You know, here in yeah. the Philippines, or at least my neighborhood, like mangoes just yeah. are... Yeah, mango trees grow like... They're almost like pests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they just, they just drop down. One. Another mango on the road. Get that right. out of the way. Right. <laughs> alam mo yung walis ako ng walis. Maya maya may nalalagla. But in other countries, oh. it's like, ooh, so authentic. It's a mango. Yeah. Mango shake. Yeah. Mango drink. Mango this. Mango that. Mango soap. Mango shampoo. <laughs> but why does the spam look like that? Uh, it's not spam. It's Ay, maling. Maling daw. Tama. Oh. Oh, mali. Well, it's meat. Lo- it's the, the the luncheon meat still. Maling, yeah, yeah I remember maling. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, but still, yeah, I put it egg. Okay, there uh, you go, egg. Tinorta mo. Mm. Maling Tinorta. used to be before I discovered spam. Maling was like one of my go- yeah. my favorite, but it was too expensive for us back then. You know. I mm. put this up because I wanted it to remind me of coffee. We talked about the little tiny coffee mug. Coffee mm. maker reminds me of. Um, Steve Jobs saying that he wanted his products to be like these, like a coffee maker or, you know, these, these, these tools that you use in the house in a sense right. that they're elegant and they're functional and they work. I remember him for that. Like, you know how, you know, like your computer is supposed to be as simple as your, your, your coffee maker. I don't remember the exact right. quote, but along the line. So every time I see a coffee maker kind of reminds me of Steve Jobs like a toaster that's kind so, of thing. That's so weird. <laughs> I mean, I can understand if you see a, 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 a mouse or a, a USB, maybe it'll well, remind you. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, but this, listen, this is some, something about the practicality and the simplicity of it. Right. One what of the saying? questions I had is, what is that white sauce? So I know it's vinegar, but with what? Is that garlic or ginger? Yeah. Garlic? Uh, uh, that's ginger. I know that's garlic. Garlic. Garlic and so, suka. Yeah. That's it. Garlic and suka with pepper. What else do you put in there? That's it. Uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Garlic, ah, salt, salt, salt. And garlic and pepper. Oh my god, that looks so good. Yeah. I just don't know what's what's what do you call galung galunggong in English? Gigi. <laughs> 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 Galunggong in English. Let, let's go, producer. Galunggong in English. What do you call it? Let me segue a little bit to the iMac, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's a good segue. December, as in literally December 24, 2023, I restarted Milkfish. my Mac. Milkfish. Milkfish? No, that's yeah. bangus. Yeah. Galunggong beer. Try mo ulit. Again, again, again. Take Milkfish two. is bangos, right? I restarted the Mac okay. and it gave me the flashing, the flashing uh, question mark or flashing folder, mm. which was basically bad news, something about the operating system, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I gave you the bad news. So uh, it's very sentimental, aside from the fact that my dad helped I me thought. get it and we started the podcast with it in January 2023. Correct. Oh, it, it lasted for a while. Uh, Galunggong, round scud, or mackerel scud? Scud. Yeah. Scud? Like S C U D? S S C A D scud. Scud. Mm. Oh, scud. Never heard. Yeah. I've never heard of that fish before. Mackerel? So, mackerel is uh, like a. Parang hindi, di ba? Pero malaki. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's weird. Pero ito Parang, kasi yeah. Galunggong is a round scud or. I think we got the, it's a, officially, it's a 2015 iMac. I think we got it around 2016. So my dad mm. helped me get it. Uh, mm. and, and then so I was using it a lot for, you know, vlogs and stuff. But the most right. that I really used it for was when I was working for this local TV show. I was editing the TV show here at home. And then it was, you know, my pride and joy. It was broadcasting nationwide on the Fili- in the Philippines. Okay. Wow. So we, we started the, the, the project. Uh, we started the podcast in January 2023. December 2023, I, I, I think I was forced to restart it or whatever. Anyway, it restarted and it was mm. giving me the flashing um, uh, folder, which was basically bad news for Mac users. Uh-huh. 
And then, like you said, you know, uh, there's a chance that it's not going to work. Just send it over to for service. If it does work, great. If it doesn't work, then it's uh, paperweight. Oh, what's the news? Paperweight. No way. Because of the whole, and this is where the whole rant about the coffee maker was all about was that all they had to do was like replace the OS, which I think they were successful, but there was some kind of, um, I, I think a hardware issue with the SATA cable and the storage. I, that was, that's what was written on the, on the email storage and SATA cable. So anyway, it's, it sounds like it could be fixable. Right. But the bottom line of the email is that since it's a legacy model, 2015, Five years later, it's not serviceable anymore, which would have been 2020. Right. Or let's say 2021, given that it, I bought it on 2016. Mm -hmm. 2023 now, so it's beyond, uh, it's beyond, way beyond legacy already, so they won't service it. Maybe that means I can have it serviced outside of the official Mac service oh, center. Hold on, you took it Maybe. to a, an actual Mac service center? Yeah. And they won't service it anymore? Because of because that whole legacy issue. That doesn't sound right. They don't have they should that have done thing it, so. there. Yeah, that, but any have... any any model here, they'll fix it. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, here they have like from from phones to app any kind of Apple product. There's a five year mm -hmm. period that you can have no, it fixed. They don't have that here. No. And I'm not as far as I know, they can have... get it fixed. Yeah, no, I know, I know, not... I know, I know. I'm not saying for free. They're, they're, they'll fix it for a fee, but only for if it's w within five years old. Right. If it's older than five years or it's a legacy, they call it a legacy model, they're not even going to accept it. Mm. So this one, they accepted it just to check if they could still fix it, at least for the OS. Right. But <clears throat> as if, if for any, let's say, hardware or anything like that, they said that they, as they understand, they're not going to be able to fix it anymore. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. So that's that's the latest update on the iMac. So are, are you trying to see if you can uh, take it out of the the iMac place and maybe have it checked somewhere else or no? Last time I talked to the lady there when we walked out, I was like, oh, so if it, this doesn't work, I, I, I could just leave it here because it's so freaking heavy. I don't want to take it home anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, please take it back. That's so a it's lot still of... there. I just got the email. That's the update. And I haven't been able to pick it up yet. I, wow. I literally just read the email about 30 minutes ago and... They sent it yesterday. Mm, mm, mm. So, well, that sucks. Yeah. That's a giant paperweight. That's uh, just <laughs> sorry and about that. Even if I did sort of, um, what's the word? Uh, scout around or shop around for anybody that would fix it. That's not authorized. Mm. You know, it would still be a a B I T C H to you know carry to lug it around, around and, and whatnot. Out, to, yeah, to lug around yeah. and bring around and figure out who's going, who's willing to fix it yeah yeah but yeah but basically even if you have the money or you're willing to pay for it they're saying they're not going to accept it anymore yeah so, well so that's that's weird you, so you don't you on your side of the pond or your side of the world they will accept it and but here they have that thing that I, I, yeah as far as i know here that if you bring your i don't know if there's a time frame limit but if you bring a laptop yeah. in that's either well, well as long as it's mac or whatever any kind of apple mm. product um is workable you it's know i've seen people just... bring in older mac uh macbooks and whatnot i haven't seen anybody bring in an maybe it's because it's a desktop i did google about that a little bit and i nothing popped up about mm. apple not accepting anything so yeah maybe it's right. just the philippines kind of thing right right Nagawa right Nagawa na ba? Yun, hindi ka nakikinig dun sa kwento ko. Hindi. Ang anak ko, sayang yung dinayad ko na 3,000. Sayang nga. Kasi nga, hindi nga nila maayos. Naayos oh nila God. yung OS. Yeah, yung OS, yung OS. Pero iba kung hindi mag-boot talaga. Pero kung may ayaw cable something, etches etches dun na hindi nila maayos. Right, 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 right. Hindi, right, right, na, right. hindi na daw nila aayusin because older than 5 years na siya. Mm. Ah. Mm. Diba? So, pero hindi pa rin magagamit yung... Wala na. So, ang, ang, the good news there is na ayos yung OS. Oh. So, parang kalahati lang yung naayos nila. Pero yung hardware, there seems to be a hardware issue that they still need to fix that they're not willing to touch. Oh my yung, God. Kumaga, parang, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. But I, I, is, it, is it usable or no? I don't know. I don't know. But, but so parang there's two, part, there's two parts of the problem. There's software, which is OS na ayos nila. 
mm. a software problem, but there mm. seems to be a hardware issue, which is the something about maybe the data hard mm. drive and the SATA cable. That for sure was mentioned. I mean, if, if yeah, it's I replaceable, think... they should just be able to replace it. That's what yeah. I mean. But they're saying that they're not willing to touch it because it's a leg it's a legacy thing rule that falls under that five year legacy thing. Okay, then you need to take it outside. Because if it's a hard any any hardware is replaceable. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. The important part that they're able to do is the software itself. Now, if that works, all you gotta do is take it out somewhere else and have the hardware fixed. I think that's, that's what doable. It sounded like. That's yeah. what it sounded like. And they didn't mention what kind of OS they put up there. It could be the old one, which whatever. I'm happy Who with cares? any kind of OS. Right. It's not the most recent one. That's fine. Right. Right. But again, it's going to be hassle to lug around and try to figure out who's willing to take it Stop in. Stop looking at it that way. Before you even pick it up, see if you can Google or look at a place that might be able to fix it for you. Then pick it up and go over. You know go what I mean? Straight there. Yeah, but I got yeah. 20 days. Otherwise, they'll start charging me for storage fee yeah. and that kind Correct. of thing. Correct. Why don't you go back to what you're doing? You can just buy a new one. That's it. Yon. Yon. Oh, putang. Ano, DJI. 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 <laughs> about sa phone naman sa yeah. phone ng Apple and mm, Samsung right, right. lahat daw ng old old yeah. old old Pero ng syempre, ano wala na sentimental value wala may sentimental you know, know what just move on you know nandiyan ni yeah. eh, think think mag shop shop na lang kahit na used move na forward ka na Pero, bro can i just say it's like 3 terabytes of memory uh, 3 terabytes ah. of storage and then yeah. 32 so that, like the highest that you can get at that time, Hi. 32 gig of RAM, which is like mm. really fat. Yeah. Um, naalala ko sa kanya si Papa, ganyan din. Nasira yung phone, di ba? Mm. Exactly. Ayaw this is where I take after my dad. Yeah. And then ngayon, sabi niya, tapon mo na nga yan. Wala namang palang kwenta. Yeah. Kala ko, sabi niya? nagtatagal. Yeah. Sabi niya? Natapon niya na yung ano. Oh. 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 Talaga. Oh. Ito ito naman, oh. Ito. Baka pwede rin sa'yo yun. just ko yeah. naman. Yeah. And then For a that, good year, my dad, dad was like, that, I don't want to. My dad was like, I don't want to throw that away because my son gave it to me. Oh, wow. Maybe maybe he can help you get a new one. Forever. You know what I mean? Maybe he can get uh, help you get a new one. But finally, yeah, he got pissed off. He was like, Tapa mo na nga yan. Anyway. Again, a good businessman friend of mine once said, the problem with sentimental value is that it has no value. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. So there we go. Yeah. My, say, let me, but listen, story. it's either like 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 you. It's either you get try to take it out and get it fixed, or get a new one. Maybe pops yeah. could help you get a new one. You know, never know. Yeah, I'll ask daddy. I'll try to yeah. text dad. I'll try to text dad if he can get me another computer. <laughs> <laughs> another comp. You, know. you never know. Yeah. So, yesterday, uh, actually, the last couple of days, last two days, actually, I've been watching one of. So I love to watch cooking food, right? Uh, cooking, cooking shows like uh, mm -hmm. Hell's Kitchen, um, mm -hmm. anything to do with food, really. But one of my favorite things to watch is Anthony Bourdain. I've been a huge mm -hmm. fan for God knows how long, from no, uh, from, from uh, no reservations to parts unknown, and and et cetera, et cetera. Even to his Great Escapes one, or not Great Escapes, the. Um, the early years one, cookbook store or whatever. Um, last night, I jumped into this episode. I think it's uh, No Reservations. It's um, Season 5, Episode 5. It's when he went to the Philippines. Mm. Okay. Hold on. What? I totally got distracted. You were telling us about the story about your daughter putting the thing. Can I just distract you two seconds okay. before, before we move on and <laughs> everything else about... Uh. Sorry, I, I should have put this in a while ago. Bad timing. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I can't find the correct buttons for it. Uh, Whatever it is, if you have it queued, just click at the bottom. You want me to do it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, this one. Yeah, just a quick one. Got distracted with the iMac. So 
just wanted to show that. So this is the kind of thing that Tin now does for fun, like on the side. Like, you don't even have to ask her to make a thumbnail anymore. It's just hey, in fairness, thank you sa abs, huh? <laughs> Man, I was telling her, please make the face bigger next time, so that you can, you can, we can emphasize the 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 art of, of your kid. I, I know. Oh my gosh! Practicing. Okay, sorry. Okay. Totally got distracted. Anthony Bourdain. Here we go. Yes. So. Um, Anthony Bourdain, he's, he's, I love watching him, the way his storytelling is and whatnot, right? So let, I want to play this quick clip. All right. It's, um, well, this led to the question that I'm going to ask next. Ah, so that was going to be my next question. Was yeah. Pampango first, Philippine second? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. He didn't have to think, you didn't have to think about it. No, no, no. Okay. Let's put it this way. You cannot be a Filipino. Unless you become a Pampango first. Okay. See, did you hear that? Did you hear that? You cannot be a Filipino unless something Pampanga. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear it or no? It's soft though. No, hold on. I like that chef, huh? Second. Which chef? Okay. No, no, no. He didn't have to think. You didn't have to think about it. No, no, no. Okay. Let's put it this way. You cannot be a Filipino unless you become a Pampango first. Become yourself first. You can't become a Filipino unless you become Pampango first. What? No, no, or okay. Pampangueño first. Okay, Pampango first. I mean, uh, whatever, whatever region yeah, you are from. You identify yourself with, with yeah. that first. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm a New Yorker first and American yes. second. Yeah. Is, oh, okay. no Which makes sense. You know, the whole, yeah. Uh, Tomorrow, we're on our way to Cebu. You identify yourself. So, basically, that led me to ask the questions, are Filipinos too proud? Mm. You know, what do you, what do you mean? Like, uh, like, proud of where they're from? As a Filipino itself, you know, um, are, 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 are we too proud as Filipinos? Meaning, are, well, that's the thing though. Is it all about patriotism or is it about individualism? Mm -hmm. You know, like what he said, you gotta be Pampangueno first. It's like their, your, their region is prioritized or emphasized prior or before the country as itself. So, is is yeah, it bang. yeah is it borderline kay, may pagkayabang ba or is it is no, it bad uh, to be too uh, proud no actually karamihan sa Pampanga is mayabang <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah ganun mayabang ba talaga ang stereotype yeah. doon yeah proud no ganun talaga I think sila. every every region naman kahit manila mayabang rin if you're from no, eh, no. not region but every place no even like, hindi lang Ganun ba? Basta lahat yeah. naman yata Depende merong sa, negative something, just ano positive nila, something. Um, may mga ano kasi sila like, um, I don't know kung nandun talaga sa tradisyon nila na yabang talaga. Ah. Sa lugar nila. Right. Siguro yabang is not the word. Baka ano lang, meron lang kanyang, there's that, just that, a different... That, that's, I was actually thinking about that after hearing him stay, say that because I've actually thought about that before. This is not the first mm. time I've seen that episode, you know. But mm. for him to clearly say, um, I, uh, you can't be Filipino unless you're Pampangueño first. Mm. The first yeah. time that I heard it, I thought he was being proud about Pampangueño. And then when you played it again, maybe what he meant was you got to be proud of your region first. Mm -hmm. I'm right. thinking of Commander Daot and um, uh, Kulas, for example. Mm. Okay. But it's, it's easy to be a... You cannot be a foreigner a coming over to the Philippines and then feeling Pampanga like you're Filipino because you've gone around yourself. all around the Philippines, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think what he's saying, in fairness to what he's saying, if I'm right in interpreting it, parang these foreigners, Daot and Kulas, for example, Kulas. Right. until they feel that they are, let's say, from Davao mm -hmm. or Davaweño, mm -hmm. unless that's when they can say that they can be Filipino. Right. Parang you need to be identified or you need I don't necessarily agree with this but parang for you to be really like in in you know with your feet or your 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 teeth sinking into it you need to be identified you need to be able to identify yourself like your own under, region first under a certain mm -hmm. region yeah because otherwise you've just taste, tasted the whole buffet I mean that's if you're feeling Filipino huh yeah yeah 
yeah, maybe if I know if command if Kulas is becoming Filipino, maybe I'll make my hashtag feeling Filipino. <laughs> I feel feeling Filipino. That actually that that fits better with me since mm. I'm the one that's feeling Filipino. Feeling mm. Filipino, de ba? You know, I mean, you're more know. Filipino than I am. So, but that 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 the question there really is like this guy. It, it just kind of stung a little bit, ba? You know? Yeah. Maybe you're right with what you're saying. Pero pero medyo masakit pakinggan eh. It's like it yeah. it feels like it's like in a way the lack of patriotism to the country yeah. itself. It's like parang what? Like if Pampangenya secedes with the Philippines type of thing, you know, just like mm-hmm. with the whole US and uh, versus Texas thing. It's I don't know. In Maybe I'm looking at it heart, wrong. Huh? In your heart of hearts, do you feel like in you're a, more of a Californian or a Virginian? I'm definitely a Virginian. I am really? definitely a Virginian. I, I grew up in, um, I grew up in uh, Virginia, pretty much mm-hmm. for the most first part. I mean, to in California, pretty much the first part of my teens and whatnot, or most of my, all my teens. But my life is Virginia. Virginia mm-hmm. is going to be home for me no matter what. You know what I mean? Is it because it's more parang provincia and quiet? No, I think it's because I discovered myself here. Granted, I discovered myself my later in life. Para bang nalaman ko yung totoo kong pag-iisip, totoo kong my real pagkatao. Matanda na ako. Nasa 30s na ako nung na-discover ko yun. Ba? If I had to be natuto kong ma-accept. Anywhere in the US, I would be Californian all just because of the coastline. Have to be Yeah, man. I've never been a Okay. So about whole, the whole thing with being proud, that's the same thing here in the States. The flip side with that here, residents of each state, un- unfortunately, not everybody is as proud as their own home states as they should be, right? But there are definitely people who are proud of where they're from. You know? I don't think it's a bad thing to be proud. I think it's bad when you start talking down on other yeah. cultures right. or other people. That's if you're true. not from Pampanga, if you're from like, like if you're in Manila, ay, ay, parang, from Manila yeah. yeah. Yeah, same thing here. Like, California's talking about, oh, California's the best state. Your state sucks, type of thing, you know. Yeah, if you start once you start talking about other states or other regions sucking. Right, right. That you know, I think you should keep your mouth shut about that. But if you're proud of yourself and where you're from, so mm-hmm. it doesn't mean pampaga, everything everything else is negative. Not right. Hindi niya na lang dinawit yung Pilipino or ano, Pampanga. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. I'm proud I'm, I'm being Pampanga. Ganun na lang sana, 'di ba? Yeah, very tricky mm-hmm. phrase that he used there, honey. You're right. not really truly Filipino unless you're Pampanga. Mm-hmm. And like, then I think he exactly. corrected himself. Now you know that you don't identify with a specific region maybe is what it means. Right. Personally, though me growing up in California, um in the same essence of what he's trying to say, I never felt at home in California. I never felt like I was, that California is my place. Even though I grew up there for most of my teens, to me, that whole phase of my life, which is when we met, it was more like a transition phase, you know, because I came from the Philippines. Hmm. I felt I was at home. I didn't want to leave and go anywhere else. Really? Really? (laughs) Is it because you felt that because it's already the um, the states, the Americas, or as no, opposed no, no. to? Well, yeah, th- there's that too, and it right. I felt like I was in a in a movie set. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so at home, feeling like right. I was in a movie set. Yeah. Right. But but again, it's it's really the draw of the water, the the right. fact that we were near the water, kind of thing was really a, a big part of it. I felt like I was at home when I was in Cebu. Oh. Because, you know, the ocean. It, actually, you know what? Come to think of it, in so many ways, Cebu is a lot like the Bay Area because there's like a, you know, there's a bridge. Mm-hmm. There's an airport on the other side that you, right. like, geographically, it kind of reminds me of. Ka, so the fact that yeah, the other day, for the first time, parang binaybay namin yung we were passing through Pasig River ba yun? Ang baho yeah. yun. Ang, ang, ah, that's Makati, lang. no? That's <laughs> we were Makati. passing through the Pasig Mandaluyong. River, Mandaluyong on, Makati. pero Pasig River yun, yeah. di ba? Going through Makati, oh sort of for the oh. first time, and then, but we were on the on the river banks, talaga. Oh. Ng tubig. Yeah. But yun, like in like cases like that, I felt. And then, pag, at home. Tagtong namin sa bridge, de nasa taas na kami, no. Oh. Nakita ko yung 
river. Ang daming basura. Oh my god! Like I thought they were cleaning know. that already. No. Yeah, well, there. I guess they're still in the, in the middle of it. Oh. Hindi pa rin yeah. Ayos. Well, again, going back to the whole California thing, it just never felt like home. But when I transferred to Virginia, what is it about Virginia that makes you feel at home? To me, it's mm-hmm. just everything that happened in my life is here. No, but Exper- is it? Is there something physical? Is it the wider roads, less traffic? No, the it's people? definitely traffic. The people here are normal. Mm-hmm. I think it's more like just the aura of it, you know. Even mm-hmm. though I've I've made it clear that I want to leave Virginia, that I'm done with Virginia, it's still going to be home for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, if people ask me where are you from, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm from California. I'm what from would Virginia. you miss the most if you left Virginia? I don't know. I never really thought about it, to be honest with you. And I probably will never be able to figure that out until I actually move away from here. The old buildings, the historical sites. Yeah. I don't know. But maybe that could be it. Uh, definitely the feel of history around here and and um, being so close to DC. Oh, by the way, um, I don't want to jinx it, but I got confirmation that my reservations for to be able to do a white house tour might be uh, going wow. to into, into effect yeah you, mean you, have to, you have to apply for that you gotta yeah you gotta try to make a reservations for it and it uh, the wait is long it's been a long process but i've gotten a call from the congress Wait, congressman's congresswoman's what, office white house tour meaning you go around the white house yes they're the, the white house they do tours in the white house they've always done tours in the white house you mean not everybody gets to do that? You don't just show up and do no, it? No, no. You can't just show up. They do a background check on you. I'm pretty lucky then because I've been able to do that. You've gone to, the White, gone to the White House? Yeah, Oval Office and everything. No way. Yeah. When? Uh, I was with, I think it was Westboro. Yeah, I think it was in Westboro. So middle school. And then there was this this washington dc virginia tour that they were promoting for like a whole year oh 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i remember that actually yeah then, i mean i've never been able to do that i was just like brushing it aside and then like i finally mentioned it to my mom oh yeah by the way there's this thing that they've been talking about for the past year encouraging everybody to go travel and everything and like, right. my mom was like then why don't you go right this is a one-time experience you've it's actually like- gone into the white house and then I was like, yeah, but it's eight, nine hundred thousand dollars. You know, it's just money that we don't have. It's like, yeah, but it's experience and blah, blah, blah. Mm. So I went. Next thing you know, I was in line at the White House, you know, going through all these two, uh, these um, li- these locations yep. in, yep. in in Washington, D.C. I think I remember going. Yeah. But but yeah, one of the highlights was walking into the White House. And I didn't know that what you're saying now that you have to actually now you have to well, i'm sure you have to apply them. back then you, i mean the mm-hmm. same way but it's not as as uh hard now but back then in school you, they still have to submit the list of names and whatnot and that's been going on forever you know i didn't know that so yeah it was uh, the actual oval office which is actually oval right and but yeah but of course you know they you have to p- follow through this specific of path. course of course so we're looking forward to that you know we've never done it i've always wanted to um the congresswoman wexton's office actually gave me a call helped me out yada 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 that's um, interesting so hopefully everything it, it's going to happen in early or mid june or early july that's and i have two dates so i don't remember ever going to the white house toilet so don't count on it. <laughs> <laughs> Make yeah. sure you walk in there. Uh, drink. Well, we're not allowed to, to bring anything. So, Ian. So, so I just remember I didn't walk into the Oval Office. Take note, we were just allowed by the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the, the door frame. Right. And there was like a red, you know, uh, that thing that you're like a barricade that you're not right, allowed right, to. Right, 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 right. Of course, no president around, but of course. it was the White House. Right. Listen, um, I'm hoping we're going to talk about the world's uh, virtual assistant. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but so, real quick, in regards to uh, last thing that I want to say in regards to uh, being a proud Filipino and uh, whatnot, is it a good thing or a bad thing? I think 
it it's it's it all boils down to Filipinos still trying to discover themselves as Filipinos. Um, mm-hmm. I, I believe that, I mean, from for most Filipinos that I know, it's so hard to distinguish how their patriotic side comes out. You know, it's 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 really hard to see or express a Filipino, your, your Philippine patriotic side. Because... Mm-hmm. Where you're from in the Philippines it seems super it supersedes or overtakes your feelings and emotions about the country itself. So I don't know. Who am I to say? I've only lived there in the Philippines when I was really, really young. Although I I do have some of my patriotic side with the Philippines still, only because unfortunately the times that I lived in the Philippines, I have gone through an experience quite uh well most of what people would experience i mean for crying out loud i was right smack in the middle of the coup d'etat and the um people it's power movement and whatnot yeah. that's a revolution i mean it was literally in my neighborhood happening in your face in your face type of thing so my um, falling apart here what's that uh, microphone's falling apart here i want to my maybe the last thing that i would say about that is like i'm extremely jealous about the foreigners that get to travel around the country more than i can so, <laughs> <laughs> and they actually know the country historically more historically than yeah. we do that we've just sat around and heard about it on the right through our history teachers and these guys are actually there mm. like have been there and i think that's awesome yeah oh definitely and definitely as far um, as being proud and over proud and saying that you're not filipino if you're not this from this region eh, mm-hmm. i don't know if that's a very healthy attitude but mm. i guess i get it well segueing into something that filipinos might or might not be proud about it seems like the world's virtual assistant tends to be the philippines that's great that's you know awesome yeah, I mean, definitely. But a lot of Filipinos are now all of a sudden complaining about the wages and looking mm. at it in a bad way, mm. which is understandable. I was listening to the video that you sent me. And yeah, right. I have a couple of things to say about that. But mm. go ahead, continue. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Is it, did you want to short, uh, share that clip? She was mentioning about, uh, please, maybe you could be the one to do it because I'm not really ready to queue it up. So. But just my thoughts about it, like she was mentioning about how some of the people that would cr- critique her i guess love or enthusiasm for the philippines is because mm-hmm. the wages are cheaper and for her it's not it, it's justified because that's you know the 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 price the cost of living here in the philippines right in other words there the us um you know 3 4 5 dollars an hour is like human uh, what do you call that? Like like below minimum wage kind of thing. Yeah, it it, it goes like against uh, human labor. It's border down like slavery. Yeah, you're taking advantage of it. You're yeah. taking advantage of it in a legal way, and it's yeah. not necessarily ethically correct. Correct. In that's the thing that I wanted to talk to you about. Do you think that that's actually good? Because like somewhere in the back of my mind, I've never been a VA, but I have been a call center agent, and I do mm. feel and think sometimes that. I'm I'm kind of leaning more towards of the idea that they should get paid more. And yes, people have bought laptops, cars, right, houses because of the three four dollars that you guys pay, right. But I think that and whatever it is going to be in wherever you're from, you're going to be paying two, three, four times higher than you would be paying if you get a VA from the Philippines, right? Well, this is this is what this TikTok guy is saying in regards to this. Um. If you can just give me a heads up, if you can hear it properly, okay? Internet is going crazy over a Zoom cashier in this New York City restaurant. A new restaurant chain with several locations across the city is deploying hostesses from the Philippines on Zoom to help with checkout. Zoom cashiers working abroad are way cheaper than workers in New York City. The minimum wage in New York is $16 per hour compared to the $3.75 average pay in the Philippines. Not to mention these virtual employees can work at multiple locations at once. (laughs) Mm. Mm-hmm. Did you share it with me? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. But, uh, I thought I was I the did. one that shared it, or you did. 
but kasi dito you sa it? BA here, BA oh. here, maraming kumakalat na scam. So, wait lang. Right. So, we're talking about two different things here, but basically the same thing in a sense na. So, there's the VA. Mm-hmm. Somebody's calling you. There's the VA. Yes? Huwag naman sa mic. <laughs> there's a VA, virtual uh-huh. assistant, and then there's this virtual assistant cashier that you're talking Correct. about, right? But either Correct. way, both of them, they're dirt cheap labor. Is right. What we're talking about. Right. So you were asking, am I, am I, what do I think of it and whatnot? So obviously it does seem like, well, it, it is kind of shitty if you look at it numbers wise right now. That's my dad and his pants are falling off. Nice. You're welcome. His pants really fell. They really did <laughs> fall off. So Finn was just blocking him. <laughs> so he was thanking me, thanking us for the medicines that we got him yesterday. Oh, nice. He needed some painkillers. That's awesome. Um, going back to this real quick. So the guy was just basically saying minimum wage is sixteen seventy five in New York City, and they were paying these virtual 16. assistants sixteen seventy five three dollars and seventy five cents. Right now, how much? Three seventy five is what they're paying per hour for these virtual assistants. Three seventy five. Right. Sixteen seventy five for right. like regular cheese. Well, he, okay, fine. Yeah, that's why that's why it's questionable for Filipinos who are working as a virtual assistant because mm. you're paying sixteen seventy five. Yada yada yada. Right. Mm-mm. But that's that's here. Yeah. Okay. Now here's the, here's a question for you. What's the av- average wage per hour in the Philippines? Uh, hold on, my mind's still trying to. But before I even answer that, because uh, I'm trying to come up with an answer, mm. you know, if your business is based there in the U.S. and then you you outsource, and I'm not a businessman, and maybe I could be right. wrong about this, but since the business is based there in the U.S., because usually when we sign up for, let's say, a Google thing, uh, 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 a sign up for something, let's say we sign up for terms and conditions for a uh, YouTube, right. We don't have our own terms and conditions here in the Philippines, right? We sign up for whatever the terms and conditions is there based in wherever YouTube is based. Right. So why would you pay us only Less? 375? Yeah, why would you pay us 375 is if if the average there is supposed to be 16. Yeah, but it's not comparable. That's here. But you're still getting paid on what but you're still getting paid a lot more than what you're getting paid in the Philippines as opposed to working in full in person in the Philippines. Now I'm I'm sure for myself. I'm only speaking for myself, but there's a part of me that wishes it was at least like eight. That's the that's the problem there. Not three seventy five because you can get away with it. That's me. No, I understand, but need to accept the facts that you know what? It's not fair. Yes, it's not fair if you look at it, right? But Mm. Yes, it saves money for our bit. Like, if it's my business, it saves me money hiring a virtual assistant as opposed to hiring an actual assistant here, right? Mm. Correct. But I'm sure there's going to be an underside, a, a side stipend for maybe the business is paying for internet as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I can also go back here and stop and hire uh, uh, a person here to be my assistant. Yeah, it's going to cost more money, you know? Hmm. If you're working in person, yes, you should get paid more. But if you're working personally, it's not like you have to. You, you don't have to spend for a vi- for transportation. You don't have to spend to go out to eat lunch. You don't have to yeah. spend to for for um, fees and whatnot or whatever. You're yeah. at home. Yeah, everything else is going to cost different. But can we just pause that real quick about right. money? I just want to highlight the fact that if that kind of thing really does pop up, isn't it? Wouldn't it be awesome that, like, let's say you go to Japan. Or no, just stick to the U.S. And then mm-hmm. you have a virtual assistant that's Japanese or Filipina. Or, you yeah. know what I mean? It's not just like completely white, black, white. You, you know, yeah. like the, 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 the cultural difference. The it cultural differences. So, like worldly. Like like I could be talking to a South African yeah. bank teller. I, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. It, it does what not. Don't you like? uh, I, I'm not going to walk up to a, a, a McDonald's and talking to a screen that's with somebody in another country or somebody else. I don't well, like I, it. The, you don't like the screen part. I'm just talking about the cultural part. The fact that, you know, you could be in the U.S. and you can be talking to someone from South Africa. Yeah, that's Virtual. true. That, I mean, Virtually. that's that, just that, what I'm excited about. 
Yeah. But I get what you mean about screens and talking yeah. to real people in person. That's another story. It, the I whole idea talking. of like talking to somebody from a different place. Yeah. Amazing. Just like what we're doing right now. You're in the Philippines and we're doing this mm -hmm. podcast, right? It's amazing mm -hmm. that we can do this. I'm so for it. But if I'm going to walk to an establishment, let alone a fast food restaurant, order into a screen and have some... No, it's not gonna work. It takes the it takes away the uh, uh, personality. It takes away the 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 connection. You know, it, how is that person gonna be able to fix any kind of issue that's on my side? So let's talk about uh, the VAs specifically being Filipinos. Is, is right. Something so, that you wanted to mention about that. Well, one of the questions that I really had about it is how did it end up being the Philippines as the hub for all of this? You know. Um, it is kind of amazing though, I have to admit, and this lady really broke it down in a way, you know, if, 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 if I could, uh, put this on real quick as well, just a couple of, couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, um, she kind of lets you know why well, the Philippines, you're, while I'm you're sorry? figuring it out, while you're figuring that out, cause yeah. I can feel your brain slowing down because your hand is trying to figure <laughs> yeah. out where to click. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell it to you right away. It's the history that we've had in the Philippines. Mm. Uh, you know, thanks to our colonizers for teaching us the ways of English and the right. fact that I love the fact that she mentions that one of the things uh, the, that unifies the entire Philippines is the fact that everybody can speak English, it's not the right. dialogue but English English yes and I think that's what Roberto was saying before that it might not be our national language but we have to at least acknowledge it that it unifies us all the Filipinos together with the rest of the world gets us in touch with the rest of the world so don't right, right. demonize English because we because it's 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 not Filipino but you know it's part of our history whether we right. like it or not right right I, I, I can't play the video so it's not working for some reason but uh -oh. that's one of the things that I get upset about when people like make fun of me speaking in English because it's like Filipino ka naman marunong ka naman mag English ay marunong ka naman mag Tagalog, mag -Tagalog mag yeah English ka pa. right yeah, but I'm just trying to communicate in you know it's it's what I'm comfortable with and or let's say the person that I'm speaking with is is uh you know not comfortable with my bisaya for example so, right you know, right speak, but whatevs i mean there's also you know struggling to speak in in tagalog mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's 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 um forcing being, someone to speak in tagalog if they don't want to right i mean well that's the thing though you know now it, it's everywhere now have, having to see that they're hiring that uh the virtual assistants from the Philippines all over the world, from all over the world, really. But Americans are doing that and they're equating it to that Filipinos are, their 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 work ethic is just really good, you know? Mm. Mm. It's amazing that they, they don't take advantage of the situations in regards to it. Because here as a virtual assistant, to be honest with you, sometimes you can't even find your assistant. You know, I got disconnected on the live on TikTok, by the way. It's but. okay. I'm, I'm just hitting live again right now. I just saw it. Um, Filipinos speak English for the most part. Yes, it might be broken, but it's enough, more than enough to actually take care of things for you. Hmm. You know, and they're not going to take advantage of the situation. Their work ethic is, I have to say, by far, for the most part, stellar i gotta ask the appreciation I know. yeah you were saying something about a va scam yeah. what's that about uh, did, did you mention about this also you no know, um christine brought it up yeah, but there's a lot of i agree VA na company na ini scam yung mga pinoy or ofw na walang work right now uh -oh. well iba naman yun ano yung modus no, uh, operandi nila ang modus nila N like kunwari um mag -hire. hiring kami ng BA, ganito, ganyan, hanggang sa makapasok ka na dun sa app nila. So, mm -hmm. ikaw i-interview. -inter so, interview. sinascam nila yung VA o sinascam nila yung kliyente? Kliyente. Yung kliyente. Eh, in, 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 nung, yung ya-hire nila. Okay. 
And then hangga sa mga pasok na na papakitaan na oh you're hired ganun ganun and then uh, can I get your account uh, account uh, so uh, ano sila like uh, they're, they're scamming it to get the money yeah. Yeah. yeah I think anywhere in any industry you have But something like that ginagamit no, nila yung mga image na yan uh, I think yung pinorward mo na yan ginagamit mm. nila yan dun sa Pilipino para maniwala na mag Right. Pero yeah. generally, yeah. Gener- that's the that's the bad news side of it. But generally, VA Filipinos are good news. Oh, absolutely. Generally, they're 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 definitely worth it. You know, mm-hmm. um, well, not all 100%. Let's say let's just give it a generous 80, 90%. But mm. of course, you know, you always gotta double check and be careful. Correct. Now, why are people obviously in the Philippines are now starting to question we should be getting they should be getting paid same dollar figure as what they're get they're paying in their own countries for it now as I've asked earlier how much do Phil, what's the average Filipino pay per hour in pesos minimum for the day pero per hour we don't see per hour yata is long I don't know. We don't really think in terms of do we per It's day per day, right? Yeah, really per day. Then, how many hours of work do you Eight hours then? Eight hours. Actually, technically Or nine. Or sometimes ten hours. Because they don't catch, ah. they don't count lunch. Yeah. So nine hours, it's about okay. 500. Let's say 600 na lang. Oh, uh, well, sabi na lang natin. Let's, let's just say it's yeah. 500. An average pay for a Filipino is 500 pesos per day. Okay, mm, mm. and that's divided by eight. Let's just say to make it fair, work-wise, that's sixty-two pesos, sixty-two fifty pesos. Okay, per, per hour. Per hour. Per hour. Yeah, yeah. That's what a dollar and ten cents. I remember hmm. yung teacher ano mo, remember yung nahaya ka? Mm-hmm. Ganun lang yeah, 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 yeah. When I applied pesos. as a English teacher, yeah, it was mm-hmm. around mm-hmm. that. That that price like sixty something pesos per hour. Right, right. So Sabina lang natin na. Okay, you're paying somebody three dollars and seventy five cents mm-hmm. per hour as a virtual assistant. Okay, mm-hmm. that is roughly one day. Okay, three seventy five times eight. Let's just mm-hmm. say it's eight hours. Mm-hmm. Okay, times fifty five pesos. That's one thousand six hundred and fifty pesos. Mm. Per day. Mm. Why do you have to complain too much about it? I'm sorry, but that's like a lot mm. in Philippine pesos. That's $8,250 pesos per week. Mm. Mm. That's 33,000 pesos per month. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, again, my point is I'm basing it off of the standards that you're business is coming from mm. like whether i i do the the work here in the toilet or yeah. un, under the, under my bed as long as i get the work done is none of your business mm. the way that's the way i see it right I, but you can't look at it that way because if you look at everything that way especially in this particular case where it's virtual work then there's no more there's no more business yeah. business is going to yeah. cease to exist Mm. You know. Again, I'm not saying necessarily it's right, but I just I'm just saying Correct. that I wish the VAs get paid a little more than they. I don't do. think so. Like, not like dirt cheap, but not right whatever. now. It's, it's dirt, dirt cheap and comparable to what's being paid here. But that being dirt cheap, maybe that business might be able to use some of that profit or that money saved to hire another two virtual assistants, right? Can we Which, interrupt? Can we interrupt ourselves with uh sorry sorry continue but I'll I'll interrupt after you finish your thought. Now <laughs> a lot of vir- people here actually that hire virtual assistants in the Philippines they don't mm. just have one virtual assistant they have two mm. or three. All right you know? let's read this it sounds like this is a VA related comment I'll put it up on the on the screen okay. Ah oh. uh, hello sorry to bother you I want to offer promotion okay maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the, in in hindsight, that's also a promoter. Basically, it's going to be your virtual assistant type of thing. It's your virtual promoter. Quality guaranteed to be somebody selling us something on the yeah. They, I get that. <laughs> we get that messages all the time. I thought it was a comment in no. with the VA that we're talking about. 
we um, get we get all of that uh, messages all the time. But but you know, again, that's my thing. I'm just speaking as an employee that was right. barely a VA with barely any VA experience and little that I have. I'm just saying I wish we could get paid more because of you know I know the value that we're giving you guys. But right. again, that's the argument for the businessman. Yeah. As such as yourself with the with that kind of an idea, and that's why. And you, and I think you're right. You know, if if we don't do it that way, then there wouldn't be a that kind of a business going. Correct. Again, then there's that that oppor- you kill that opportunity if you you know try to make it look equal. It's never going to be equal, and it shouldn't. Uh, the way mm-hmm. I see it, because there's gauges and unevenness from that from both sides. You know. Yeah. But again, that I just push back in a sense that yeah, some. Of the work that we do um does not necessarily but i i just know the value of, mm-hmm. of the va or the person that's working for you right and sometimes i think that it, it it should be more but if that's the fair price and people agree to it we're all adults and you know the va agrees to it then that's none of my business anymore but again me that's maybe that's why I didn't continue. Maybe that's what I'm saying. That's why I didn't continue the VA work because if I had another choice, I I I, I chose to do something else, which is right. where I'm at now. So there's there's actually I I need to find this. I'm gonna shoot a link at the at this episode when it goes live or when it goes online on YouTube as well or in Facebook. Of a YouTube that I've seen, this guy has a private business here in Virginia, uh, not here here in the states. Okay. All of his employees are virtual employees. Okay, mm. it. I'll, 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 I'm gonna admit to say one of the biggest reasons why companies here do it because it's cheaper. Mm. You don't have to worry about paying for medical insurance. You don't have to worry about mm. taxes. That's yada yada yada. Oh. So this guy has this business here in the state. I can't remember. I've seen him on YouTube. I'll, I'll, again, I'll put the link on later on the comments, but. He has, I believe, hired, he was able to hire, well, I think he has like 12 employees that are all from the Philippines. Okay. All virtual assistants. Okay. He started off with one or two. Okay. That are, he started off with one or two that are actually here in the States, but decided to let them go because it was too expensive. Okay. Based on those two salaries, he was able to hire 12 people. Okay. And because of that, the productivity has actually increased tremendously. Now he's a millionaire and he bases all of his employees as virtually because right. for some reason he's realized that yes, it is lower payment, but the quality is amazing. The mm-hmm. ethics is amazing. And he's actually visited and flown back and forth to Manila to meet Bottom everybody. Bottom line is everybody's happy. Bottom line, everybody's happy, but there's always some of those people that's going to just complain and complain and complain about things and you shouldn't be grateful you know mm. i understand that you want to be paid why can't you pay us the same thing as you're paying uh 1675 for an hour yada 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 well mm. you can't business is gonna lose you're gonna get rid of that relationship right off the bat if you do that again you know my sentiments about it if 16 if we're basing it off of new york 1675 an hour we're getting paid 375 here i just mm-hmm. wish that we were getting paid let's say five six seven eight seventy five an hour mm-hmm. for example right. instead of the lowest 375 that you can give that you well, can get that's just my sentiment yeah again as, he could have paid lower you know, yeah but, but he didn't <laughs> again, there's always that what if i've barely scratched the surface i wasn't Mm. even hired or i didn't even continue the employment status but i found out how much we were getting paid and what the whole system was all about and again that's not every va work i'm just talking about like one little english teaching va assistant kind of thing but that's barely even being a va that's but even if your work (laughs) even if you're getting paid three dollars an hour that's thirty thousand dollars thirty thousand pesos a month that's not Three dollars an hour. That was no, no. That's not. That's not three dollars an hour. That's a dollar fifty. Oh, a dollar, that that's ridiculous. Now that's ridiculous. You know, sixty-five, sixty something pesos. Yeah, sixty something pesos is a dollar ten cents. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So again, that's like lowest of the low. I mean, it's not bad. I could still save up for that. But mm-hmm. at the same time, in the back of my mind, I know that your lowest is or your average is, let's say, sixteen seventy-five, mm-hmm. and I'm getting 
one. Yeah, that, that's insane. That that's just ridiculous, right there. You know, because that, that's, that's what I mean. practically comparable to what Filipinos make on a daily basis. You know, it, it doesn't. No, no, no. Five hundred. Actually... That's a lot. That's still more, but uh-uh. it's not worth it. But again, uh, the VA uh, company owners would say that they that you don't have to commute, you don't have to leave your house, et cetera, et cetera. So there's also that. When you did that, is got is that going through an agency in the Philippines? No, it was direct to the okay. employer. Yeah, but that's still that employer is just just that's insane. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know. Yeah. Again, but, it works sometimes. Sometimes, a lot of times, it it a lot of time it works. You know, especially yeah. when they hire Filipinos as virtual assistants, it just works a lot of times. Yeah. But there are those moments where it's just not even fair. To be honest with you, again, it's it's still up to you. You you still decide. You know, scout Correct. around, find the right deal. Don't just mm-hmm. say yes to any first and only deal that you get. You know, try right. your pants. Try different sets of pants. See what fits right. right. Some are, some could be scams. And uh, there was another thing that I was going to say about it. I forget. But that that's that's it basically. You you know what the what the the last thing I'm going to say in regards to that virtual Filipinos that are virtual assistants. Yes, uh, the the pay is questionable sometimes, but for the most part, it's a better opportunity for you. You know that. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. So Do you no, agree? No, can, can we no agree doubt, on that? No question. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish the internet here in the Philippines would have been could be faster or more stable, but that's another story. Right. <laughs> um, gosh, there was like a little side note that I wanted to mention. I totally forgot because I was thinking about this thing that I wanted to close off with. Mm-hmm. It's totally side tangent. Maybe I will remember. Um, before, but before we wrap up, though, I just wanted to remind our viewers, if any will hear this, uh, starting tomorrow again, uh, the fifteenth of April onwards, e-bikes, bawal na right. sa main road sa Metro Manila simula lunes tomorrow. Um, we're talking about the major roads like Edsa, Quezon Avenue, I think that kind of thing. They come up through the whole list here in the on the video somewhere well that's good it's about time although there's going to be probably bigger fights or more fights but <laughs> at yeah. least less accidents i want to man i was oh and here's the multa this is the what how much you're going to get you're going to pay if you 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 get on the road two five um, wow if you get if you get caught Stop. and then your your ride gets impounded Getting on the road, yeah. But I wanted to get like the list of roads that are not allowed. Ito naman ako as a biker cyclist myself, or an, if if I if I did have an e bike, I'm I'm thinking there's some roads naman that the e bike is okay and they're not in the way. But I yeah. guess it's it's come to a point where it's become so such a nuisance that they just take everything out. So here's the list: Edsa Rojas Boulevard, Recto Avenue, President Quirino Avenue, Katipunan, and so just the major major roads. Hmm. Is what we're looking at here. Araneta Avenue, Commonwealth, Quezon City, Edsa, Taft Avenue, Osmeña, Shaw Boulevard. Oh, yeah. Wow. Shaw Boulevard already has signs. That's even before this came out. Uh, we were on Shaw Boulevard the other night. There are already signs there that says e bikes are not allowed on Shaw Boulevard. So that's been on for a long time for some roads. Right, right. But I don't think that they should have banned e-bikes, but they should just control it better. Yeah, so now the rule is you got to be inside your subdivision. Or That's it, basically. The small residential roads. Just right. don't be on the main highway. Just don't right. be on the main right. thoroughfare. I think, you know, just, and, and it's not discrimination. I mean, the way I see it, it's just because you guys are too wide and too big and too slow sometimes. Right, right. You know, you're not like motorbikes, I think, or little tiny. But, you know, one of the things that's weird, though, Jason, hmm. the tiny e-scooters, even that's mm-hmm. not allowed anymore. Like the e-scooters where you're standing and you're like little tiny. Yeah, I mean, hold on. That's not allowed even residentials? No, 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 not residentials on these main roads. Why would they put it in the main road to begin with? There's, they're literally, pe- they're supposed to be pedal scooters. They, no, they're, no. They're, they're for neighborhoods only. They're e-scooters. I think some of them even have like little tiny sort of go-kart 
yeah, sounding. Yeah, I know. Motor. I know which ones you're talking about. But they, that's people. That's just people being stupid because they shouldn't be even putting that on the roads. Yeah, it's a but for fun know, thing, but people using it as a mode of transportation. They do. They do. Yeah. So now they're going to be forced to find another way to get around. So that's what I mean. It's like, like, like I was hoping that they would do something about it, but I didn't realize that they would completely mm. ban or completely take them off the roads. It's like, wait, 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 that's that's a little too much, I think. But yeah, I guess these ones. Are I mean. Fast. Yeah, they they shouldn't be banning it completely, but they need to regulate it more. But people are using it as a form of business as well, you know, parang pasahero type of thing. I wanted to show you that little tiny, you, you know, that little um, uh, uh, scooter that I'm talking about. They're, they're yeah, really I know small. which one you're talking about. You're standing like, up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even I know which that, one that I is. Think it's not allowed for some reason. Or it's, it's just like, whoa, wait, hold on. Like, Too much. I think these ones sound something close to this. But uh -huh. here, exemptions to e-bike, e-bike at tricycle ban. Pagtawid. So they're allowed to cross the street or just within like 500 meters maybe of the mm. of the intersection. So it's mm. not like they're not allowed to step on, but they're basically not allowed to travel yeah, the then, entire... Correct, correct. That's going oh, to be a hard... Uh, here, here, that's here, going to be a hard uh, uh, thing for them to control. This is what I should correct myself with. If it's 50 kg and below... Light electric mm -hmm. vehicles, puede sa, puede sa bike lanes. Okay, so I stand corrected. It's not completely there. There is like a weight or a size mm -hmm. uh, discrepancy that they put up there. Mm. So you, it's it's interesting because I was just you know bitching and complaining about it a couple of weeks or months ago, and then now it's it's part of the it's on the news. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's all I got for you before we wrap up. All right, well, we're wrapping up and now. Uh, that was an interesting conversation there. I kind of like that. Um, listen, anything else that you want to add on? Did I uh, cut you off with the VA thing? Or are you happy with everything about the no, VA? No, I'm happy with everything. Uh, that I am happy with everything. Everything was good. All righty then. Um, All righty then. There's also a sinkhole in Pasig somewhere that we failed to talk about, but yeah, we can talk about that next time. No big We're deal. Done today. It's just a, yeah. it's just a hole on the on the floor. <laughs> I mean, that's dude. You have no idea the kind of sinkholes that pops up here in the U.S. That's nothing. That's normal. <laughs> sinkholes nobody, here are swallowing houses. Glad nobody got hurt though. But yeah, that's about it. Those those are yeah. all the stuff that I wanted to share with you for the week. Or for the day. All right. Well, thank you very much for tuning in, people. Again, check us out. We are live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, here and there. Uh, uh, please like and subscribe. Core. We are going uh, check all us out. out. Yeah, we are going all out, and then uh, moving on to bigger and brighter things. Anyway, anything else you want to add on? That's it. I'm good, man. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. Next episode is Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Philippines. Check us out again. Um, again, this is The Flip Side with Jay and Noel. My name is Jay. Hey, name is Noel. We'll catch you guys later. On The Flip Side. What? Catch us on the next episode, Wednesday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 p.m. Philippines. This is The Flip Side with Jay and Noel. <laughs>